Well, Adam, thank you so much for uh, taking a few minutes to chat. Um, you know, your organization has grown exponentially over the past few years, which I'm sure is exciting and exhilarating, a little scary. Um, and I know your family, your back, the background is that uh, you, your family worked um, and just like moving people, um, mm -hmm. moving company. But I, what inspired you personally to do this? Yes. Oh, um, after college, I got a, what seemed like a great marketing job. I was doing special event marketing for Mercedes Benz. Um, as someone with a marketing degree that loved events, like that seemed like the thing to do, the U.S. Open and Fashion Week and the Mercedes-Benz Championship. While it was nice setting up like luxury golf events for really wealthy individuals, you know, you kind of lose your sense of purpose there a little bit. Um, but at that point, I, I wasn't necessarily thinking about that. My family had this moving company over 90 years now, dating back to my great-grandpa, where you've just always seen stuff get thrown away food, clothing, furniture. Um, so the food seemed like the easiest, most simple thing to maybe take track of. People were just leaving it in the pantries, not thinking about it. Move for Hunger just started as a simple ask, a simple idea. Do you want to donate your food when you move? Mm -hmm. and we were there anyway. There was no extra work that would be done at all. We were in the home. Um, in a month, we collected 300 pounds of food from asking a question. Um, which was pretty cool in my mind. And, and when I went to the food bank, that's really when it hit me. Um, I hadn't been to my food bank since maybe a class trip in second grade. Um, we're in like a Jersey Shore beach community, home of Bruce Springsteen and, and whatnot. You don't see poverty or food lines, but they told me that there were 100,000 people in my county, Monmouth County, New Jersey, that didn't have enough to eat. Um, and... You know, you think about hunger, you might think of this third world problem or something in an inner city, but you don't think that it's like at your, in your home um, and in your community. And, and that was the moment for me that I realized that something needed to be done. No one's, no one's raising enough awareness about this, at least from a United States level. Um, and there's thousands of moving companies out there already. There's this existing transportation network there, and we're not utilizing them properly to solve a problem. And that's, that's how we launched. So how, how quickly did that actually hit you after hearing that? Did it, was it immediate or did it actually take some time to sink in? Um, you know, it, it, it definitely had an impact on me almost immediately. Uh, what, what was the strangest was it, it was how easy it was to actually collect this food from people. You know, there was no letter or website or organization like my dad's crew was just going out and asking people, do you want to donate your food? Yeah. I started in April of 2009. I think I quit my job in July, whatever that math is. Um, it got to the point where I was doing two jobs at the same time. So I quit my day job to focus on this. And, uh, and we launched in August yeah. 2000. And now several years later, you've collected enough food to feed something like almost 3 million people. Yeah. Um, and it's... <laughs> It's, it's really a testament to the industry. You know, um, the, the relocation industry has really rallied behind this um, because we gave them a cause that doesn't involve work. You know, there's a lot of great causes out there, but normally they involve people giving a lot of money or people doing something extra. Mm -hmm. um, ours works and ours is effective because it involves just incorporating something into your day-to-day -day that does not increase work and actually enhances your business. People... Yeah companies want to be seen as socially responsible we can give them that i, I happen to find the connection between uh you know food waste and relocation um but it's it's interesting to think about you know what some of those other things are and, and even just as an individual as a consumer should we be buying as much as we do in bulk from you know all the uh the mega grocery stores of the world simple choices sometimes not as simple and maybe hard to to kind of get your head around but once you do them um, the impact is, is just, just becomes crazy big. Um, and the trick is building a network around it too that, that wants to buy in. Because um, it's, it's one thing to just do it by yourself, um, but the power and, and the true impact is when you get a, a group of people to, to also rally around that cause. So would you say that that is the biggest challenge um, in doing what you do? Um, 
yeah, I'd say I'd say you still have people that don't get it. You know, it's 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 taken off. You know, I'm very grateful. We have 600 movers, 5,000 realtors, corporate housing professionals all across the country and Canada. Um, but you're still going to have that company that that doesn't understand the value of doing good is good for business. What is the future for Move for Hunger in general? We're really focused on non-perishable food waste during relocation. And I think that there's ample opportunity to scale that. Um, just in what we've done, you know, from going from one small family moving company to 600 in all 50 states and now Canada, uh, looking at the food system and the moving uh, industry in different countries as well. You can make this process simple. Everyone's going to participate. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, yeah, there's, there's actually, there's tons of ways to get involved. Um, you know, we do, we do food drives, we do fundraisers, we have a race team, so you can literally move for hunger because we love puns more than any nonprofit out there. Um, visit the website, moveforhunger.org. Um, be interested, you know, get, get it, get excited. If you're moving or know someone that's moving, have them find a mover on our website, move in a more socially responsible way. It's something as simple as that, you know, your, your moving choice can now be socially responsible um, and greener. Like thinking about those choices ultimately will make this world a better place. And if, if there was the move for hunger for every little thing, every one of these choices that you make won't cost more and will actually have social benefit, um, that should be our goal here as a society. Cool. Adam, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.